Tragic here and welcome to a quick video, the last of the Horror on the Orient Express playthrough. This is the Kickstarter preview and the Kickstarter's got a couple more hours to go if you want to get on the bandwagon or the train, I should say. The train is leaving the station. So basically the way I lost this game is that these, this uh, icon here, this uh, raving sanity token, during the setup, it's placed underneath, like, for example, his raving sanity is right down here. But that actually isn't a sanity token. So when he was losing sanity, I took off a sanity and then I took off another sanity for raving. But that's basically just a marker to say at this point he becomes raving, which is when you turn this to the purple side like that, which means there's one extra sanity he's taken off and he's out of sanity, which ends the game completely. Now, this is the kind of thing that I said right in the first video is probably going to happen. Not that I was going to lose from sanity loss, but being a brand new game, first time I've played it, I can't evaluate the threats really correctly. And one of the things I downplayed was the was what sanity was. I mean, I play a lot of these Cthulhu-themed games, you know, particularly Arkham Horror 2nd Edition is the one I like the most. And sanity is not quite as deadly as in this game. See, within this game, you basically share the sanity pool. If any one investigator goes insane, the whole game is lost. I'm pretty sure people were going to play a variant of this game where it's uh, for single player where people just knock out uh, investigators because it, it did feel quite abrupt to this ending. But it's actually the management of the game where I screwed up. I mean, I did have, I, I've got three insane passengers at the moment. I had two insane passengers when this spell went off. So one of the things I was doing wrong the whole game is that the top incantation is always visible, which allowed you to plan ahead. Okay, so this one would come out, you go, wow, this is the kind of one that can end the game, which is exactly what happened because every single investigator lost three sanity. And that allows you to plan for it because... Basically, if you gain these occult tokens, a good way to gain them is through the bags, for example, by doing conversations. You can actually discard these tokens to remove power points. So if I just did a couple of conversations, if I knew this card was coming, I could have just done a couple of conversations and hopefully been able to reduce this to just two power points. And I think it's probably a really good idea to make sure you try and get any abilities, like say this one here, that allows you to fix the insane state. I think this could be one of the most important types of abilities, fixing the insane state of a passenger. So I think that's where I really fell down, is not evaluating my threats correctly. I didn't have this revealed, so I couldn't plan ahead for it, because there's no real way, I mean, there's the, I mean, you can gain sanity pretty slowly this way. This will allow one investigator to gain one sanity, but it requires two actions, basically. You need an action to flip it by interacting with the guy, and then you actually need another action, probably a talk action, that allows you to gain favor, which is that little, you can get it through the talk action here. Uh, somewhere, see this one here? These little shaking hands, and that allows you to flip it back. So you've got to move there, flip it, flip it back, and move it again. So it's very expensive to gain sanity through this card, but it, it is there. And I can't remember, but I don't think there is any other gain sanities. You know? Uh, you think maybe a lucid skill or maybe even in the rest, but no. So gaining sanity is very, very hard, which means that it's almost like a limited pool that just gets discarded slowly over the game. So it's really, really important to manage your sanity. I mean, you'd think you'd know that because of the fact that it's a, a game ending thing, but I just didn't evaluate it as bad as it was. So my basic feeling here is that panic passages and insane passages especially are the two ones you've got to manage most. And uh, you've really got to spend more time moving the characters around, moving the passengers around the carts. Still, yeah, there's a lot going on with the with the monsters and, you know, the talking and dealing with the essences. There was another error I did for the whole game. So not only did I do that error like 
before where if this one triggered, I took off that. So you always take the tiles from the left, but you only ever take a tile if a character is physically killed, if a passenger is killed, okay? If the passenger has any other effect, if he's wounded, for example, or if he's turned into a panicking passenger, you don't actually remove a tile. So I played this guy a little bit. This this uh, whole vampire phase for me was a lot more de deadly than it should have been. Now, let's have a quick look here. I'm convinced this person is a cultist. So let's have a look. He is a cultist. Cultist. And these people I don't really know. I'm going to... We still haven't... We've we found the other thing here. So I'm going to say this guy is a cultist. Just had a guess. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. Oh, look at that. That means this guy is not a cultist. And this person is not a cultist. Yep. So there was two more cultists. This guy had the fez. I actually guessed completely correctly that time, but uh, that was just a guess. I had a feeling that this guy was a cultist, but every the other one was a guess. As soon as I saw this one was a fez, I knew the other two weren't. So my plan was to reveal that this guy was a cultist because I was fairly certain he was, and then throw him off because that reduces ritual tokens, and then make this go to three and just power to the end of the game. Still, put a shit of water, baby. Anyway, that is the end of the game. As usual, I'll do my little conclusions and review video after this. But uh, yeah, Horror of the Orange Express, failure.